of your favorite host. Welcome to the Life and Healing Podcast. After decades of dealing with life and all of its mess, I decided to produce a podcast helping others become the best version of themselves and finding your ability in your disabilities by sharing many different testimonials, tips, and much more. In other words, sharing the message from within the mess. Can you help me share your message within your mess as well to others? There are many ways that you can do that. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the cleanup. Let's get it done. No excuses. to the bariatric journey. I am here to help you be the best version of yourself. So let's get it. Let's get it in. Let's be real. Let's not have excuses. Let's just make sure that we get it going into the right direction. We're going to work on our mental health. We're going to work on the addiction portion. We're going to work on the everything, whatever it is that you need help on this podcast for the bariatric, gastric bypass, and gastric sleeve uh, journey, we will be getting it in, all right? We're going to learn a lot of things, different recipes. Feel free to be who you are, and we are going to be in with Divine Empire Builders. Go to Divine Empire Builders on Facebook, we are going to be revamping that Facebook it's geared towards weight. Well, actually, it is geared towards weight loss. So let's make it real. Let's make that journey real. And we're going to keep it. If you have any suggestions, any photos, anything that you want to be positive about, this is your time to shine, okay? I will be sharing my life, you know, journey with the bariatric and as well so we can all be in this together as a support okay so we will um have different things if you want to email me um my email is divineempirebuilders.com or at gmail.com and i will post it everywhere but you can look it up on facebook you can i will put it into the podcast however it goes let's just get it through all right so let's get up and get it real keep it pumping Hello, hello, hello. This is Kristen All Love coming at you on this podcast. I wanted to talk about the bariatric journey. I am on personally. I didn't expect to speak anything about it, but I wanted to be here to encourage everyone on this journey. I have yet to get the, the surgery, but I have um, been through a lot of the stuff that everybody's been going through. I've made up some recipes. I've gone through all the paperwork and just just being on this journey together. Um, I hope that we all can comment on new recipes that you have found if you are a bariatric patient for uh, the gastric bypass or the gastric sleeve or anything of that nature. I believe that there was another surgery that had uh, um, there was another type of surgery but we're on this journey to lose weight or to heal my personal journey. I am obese, but I'm not like overly, overly like 600 pounds obese. Um, nothing wrong with this, but this is my personal journey as well. I am currently 228 pounds. I did, I, my highest weight was 260. And last year in 2022, before my surgeries, I lost uh, a good amount of weight, so I got down there on my own. I do know a lot about health and fitness. It just didn't work for me personally because of my actual health issues. But uh, I do help a lot of people who have health issues, so I can give tips. I have um, some friends that are also probably going to be on this podcast as well, uh, Lux Beach Body. He's really great at this stuff too. Like we, he, we are on the YouTube as well on Oil Runners broadcast on YouTube. I think I'm going to change that name. But anyways, so so far I've started technically on the bariatric journey. I'm going to get the gastric bypass. 
And it is a scary, somewhat scary mode, but I'm actually excited for this because my spine, I have tethered cord syndrome and that's a whole nother episode in itself. I have a lot of health issues that are causing main issues, but I can't eat. Um, I have severe, uh, uh, severe GERD and all types of things that are causing my eating system is not a good idea. So like I went to the hospital a couple weeks ago over vegetables. Okay. It's gone down to that. Like vegetables are killing me here. Um, so I pretty much went down to just chicken, no spices, no nothing. And I could barely eat that and swallowing system. It's just not a happy moment for me. Oh, it's so messed up. I think the next mode would have been if I didn't get this bypass here soon, um, I would be on a feeding tube because I can't keep anything down. So I have diabetes type 2, so I take Trulicity. Um, this is just me being me. Um, I do drink a lot of shakes. Uh, I have to have thickened food and thickened liquids. I'm only 38 going on 39 years old okay so um and i want to put this out here that a lot of people will try to tell us that having this surgery is an easy way out i'm here to tell you it is not an easy way out okay if i could exercise i love exercising i love climbing mountains i love all of that and I was climbing mountains at my highest weight, okay? So don't um, think that I'm sitting here trying to be lazy. But it is not an easy way out. Going through these process is worth it, but you're going to have a mental health uh, look at. You're going to look at your mental health. Everything that is causing you to eat, causing you to go through all this stuff, what is going on. It is a literal mental breakdown so we have to get our mindset correct first before anything can happen in our surgery because once we have surgery and we don't have our mental health taken care of or our mindset down to a new lifestyle then it's not going to work you're going to keep eating and eating and eating and eating mine was I can't like there was a whole situation with peanut butter or you know like for me I I, the way I grew up, it was more of, uh, it was more being told that I was a Jerry Springer girl, you know, and all kinds of stuff. So like my mental health was not as, as sharp as it is now. So I went through a lot in the last couple months, technically, but before that I was just like, yo, but I realized what's going on. So, um, if you're thinking about going on this journey, Make sure that you have a lot of great people around you that are not going to try to destroy you. Make sure your team is solid. Even if it's just two people, one, two, you can do it. Okay. You don't have to tell the whole world. Now, I didn't plan on telling the whole world, but because I'm here to help, um, it was bugging me, so I'm here to tell you my story unfiltered. <laughs> like, I, um, like just recently I just ate ice cream, but I was not supposed to lose weight anyway, so I'm, I was actually, my ice cream was, it's not an excuse, but I barely eat anyway, so like it was not even something that I was having issues with, it was just I needed something cold for my throat. But, um, so my other podcast, it was, uh, I was sitting there eating ice cream. So, um, but yeah, I just don't eat 20,000 plates a day anymore. Like my thing, I'm a big KFC fan and I'll DoorDash like crazy. So that I got to work on is DoorDash. <laughs> Gotten better in therapy for that one. Um, but other than that, like I have been pretty chill learning about the ounces, how much we're supposed to put in our bodies, like understanding different uh, medical things that we have to have, you know, make sure you are on top of 
your paperwork. When the doctor says, go get the test, call the, don't wait for them to say anything to the other people. Make sure you get all the information, take accountability, take action, get it done because you're going to, it's going to take forever. Like all this should have taken me a whole practical year if I were to sit here and like try to figure this out. But what had happened was in February, since I was doing all my testings for everything else, I might as well just have gotten it done and out of the way. I got my my uh, my things that the medical um, needed for the, the insurance. So it was all done within a month. And all I had to do was get my doctor's, like the six months worth of doctor's um, visits in. So that was all I had to do left. It was simple. And now... Um, since my doctor had a heart attack, I was supposed to have the surgery this month, actually, you know, at the end of this month, but he had a heart attack just recently. So, uh, prayers up for him, please. So he, uh, called me on my appointment and had said that he was retiring. And so I was like, all right, you know, so they sent me over to a different doctor. So, um... Yeah, they're great. Um, the new doctors, I went in and made sure they had all the paperwork, called them, did what I had to do, and my appointment's on June 1st. So I'm excited to meet him. He's a good Christian man. The team is great. Looks like, it seems like I met them. There was nobody in the thing, so I was in there for hours just talking to the, the you know, the ladies, and they already had, like, they were in the surgery already 20 years ago. So it was nice to have somebody who's went through it. So they were showing me about different, like the tuna packets, those little star kissed packets that are in the store. They said like the, the deli one, you know, when you're on puree, the deli one is perfect for that. Um, you're going to want some refried beans and like one can will be like four meals, literally. So eventually as I'm going through this process, this is like the series for the bariatric journey. Uh, the recipes that I have come up with, with the things that they have given me, uh, cause I am a chef as well. So <laughs> I'll be putting out a recipe book. Um, so that will be able to be, um, available for purchase. Um, but like the recipes, um, I got this protein shake that I did, uh, with, um, I found this marshmallow flavored one and I got these Torani, um, Torani syrups. It's sugar free syrups and it's those ones that you can, sorry if you hear my dog. Um, it's like one of the, those syrups that you can put in your coffee that they have at the, at the store. So I got the s'mores flavored one, right? And I seen the marshmallow protein powder and I was like, Ooh, wait a minute. <laughs> like, and then they have like these Twix shakers or um what do you call it um the twix or the snickers shakers that i found at walmart and uh you know and it's it's literally just powder and i stuck some of that in there and then some pb uh peanut butter powder some in there and then you have to go like literally a teaspoon or you know however much it is uh a scoop of the protein powder and then um, some of the s'mores. So it literally tasted like a, um, what do you call it? Like you're camping. Um, what do you call those things? Um, a s'more. <laughs> Why did I think of that? Uh, so like it literally, that protein shake literally tasted like a s'more. So it was so good. Uh, you just have to be careful on what you're putting in, but those are actually zero carbs. Like some, some things in there are zero carbs. So you watch your carbs you're supposed to have like 80 to 100 carbs, grams of carbs after the surgery. Uh, 100 to 80 to 100 grams of protein. So you want your protein to be um, high. Um, so now there's a lot of, I found out there was a lot of doctors that were having different things that you can and cannot do. So it was just, it's kind of confusing. But, um, so just, that's why you have to be really, really on top of your game. I mean, it is a lot. I mean, the paperwork you get from the nutritionists, ew, 
just put the paperwork away the first day that you get it. it it'll it's just gonna just stress you out like and then when you're ready and you have no other thing that you're gonna do that day just and then you're just ready to to look at it get yourself a three ring binder make yourself on word um you know like a sheet that says how much you know like your every hour how much protein you eat you know in that section what your recipe is for that day uh the carbs that you took down um you know just just stuff like that so like you're gonna build your folder and i'll go into that later as well deeper uh i'll probably find something a, a way to showcase that maybe um a place i i don't know right now where i'm gonna do this because this is new so a place where you can see or download a printable or order whatever it is however it's going to happen it's just going to happen so yeah so my journey so far has been confusing hurtful due to the mental health <laughs> going through the issues but worth it um happy joyful all right now i'm just like i don't want to say anxious but i'm I'm trying to be patient because I want this surgery and I want this new life. It is literally a great tool to get your life back on track. When you're done with surgeries, guaranteed you are supposed to be moving, okay? So don't quit moving. I've had surgeries all this all for years, you know what I mean? So and on different things. But the main key is to keep moving. If you're sitting in, if you can't walk, sit up in your bed and move your arms. Do the... Uh, you know, shake, shake your arm, shake your body, you know, because the gas inside your, your body that they, they blow you up with, it's going to hurt. And so you want to move your body because it moves it out. And of course you're going to, um, release, uh, on the one end, the gas and, you know, you want that out. So your body is is back to normal it'll start getting back to normal you'll want to have um, like Miralax or something stool softeners definitely keep that ahead of time you'll want uh, let's see stool softeners or you know that that's an everyday thing um, what else for surgery you don't want a nightgown let them do your own like just stick with the this thing because they'll be lifting up your shirt you know all the time so why why get your nightgown all jacked up when they you can get theirs all um jacked up you know from the blood or they lift it up look at you blah 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 they spill stuff so have your own thing in there in the hospital i've done like i said i haven't done the bariatric but i it's all the same pretty much in surgeries so you're going to want that. You're going to want to prepare getting the tuna. You're going to want to prepare um, getting little puree. Something to put in like a two ounce cup. Or it, they have it on Amazon. Little little four ounce, two to four ounces cups where you can put, you know, prepare your meal and then put them in the freezer. Like, you know, so do you want to eat your protein first. Um, then you're going to want to uh, eat the vegetables next, if you can. Um, and then after that, it will be your fruits. So just make sure, and, and if anything, just mix it all in one. Cause, and then baby spoons. Baby spoons is a good thing, a good idea, because that way, that's the amount you're supposed to be eating anyway. You know, utilizing, you don't want to stuff your face with um, from a regular spoon. So it's <laughs> it's just so much like i'm just like all right well you know and and like i watched that 600 pound life and amy and tammy the slayton sisters you know and um <laughs> like i'm grateful for those shows because you get to see what to do what not to do the success of people there's people on facebook there are Facebook support groups for the bariatric thing. Um, there are uh, apps. Berry Tastic is very gr very good. 
Um, you want to use that. Berry Tastic is is the one to use that all the people use. Uh, try not to eat sugars that'll kill you, <laughs> like carbonated drinks. Um, figure that out before surgery. You know, get into the, get used to the, you know doing that. Maybe some some um, broth. You know, have a little bit of broth. You want creatine. You're gonna want your calcium pills, vitamins. Um, what else? Vi uh, what do you call it? Uh, Turmeric pills. Let's see. Then you got your B12s. You want your magnesium. You'll want your iron because you're not gonna want it. your body's not gonna absorb pretty easily. So you're gonna be wanting all that. And then sipping. Get used to sipping. There is a cup online and they used it at my job at an extended care but it is a blue cup and um it is great for dealing with all that too um i'll have to i'll have to put all that together but this is like this is just the, the start of the bariatric journey so i want to wish you guys well if you guys have anything anything that you want to add to this, please place it in the comments. Um, please excuse my dog and cat. He's not wanting, the dog doesn't, has a bone somewhere. So, um, he's trying to keep away the cat. But, uh, yeah, go walk your dog. I'm, I'm just saying, it's great exercise, man. Um, but I do live in Alaska, so it's like a whole nother situation. Um, so this is just a start of... The bariatric journey. Woo woo! Um, what was I saying? Just keep it real with yourself. You don't have to tell everybody. But yes, please place in the comments. Share, like, whatever. I am on Facebook. I am on YouTube. I am on Instagram. You can email me. Um, let's see. We could go with the oil no we will utilize because i have a whole bunch of different places so divine empire builders we will put the bariatric journey on the divine empire builders uh facebook i have a um email divine empire builders at gmail.com so uh, let's let's do this thing you know even if you don't take the journey for the bariatric exercise is great you know uh, your health is very important and and this is just one of the tools that you can utilize but this right here is specific but if you know just just we're not gonna bash anybody we're not if you're like a thousand pounds literally or 600 pounds or a hundred you know or whatever we'll we will go in and deal with all types of different eating disorders addictions how to get rid of stuff you know it's it's very um intriguing in this world so we're going to build this empire and we're going to build you up to be the best version of yourself everything i do i like to build help build the person up to be the best version of themselves so this is just a part of who I am and what I do. But I this is my testimony. So I will help you through my journey as well. So let's get it. Let's go get it, you know. And I'm very proud of you. And let's keep it moving. Exercises. We will find different ways. Um, Facebook. That's where I can put all the stuff on. So we, on Facebook, Divine Empire Builders there is a facebook for that uh facebook page so there will be things on that page um if you want an email you know uh different things we will you can email me and i will put you on the list to be able to send uh the pages or whatever because i know facebook has different things that you can't put up there so yeah we will just do that and we'll just we'll just make it fun and share your photos share your journey share everything you know don't be afraid i am here to 
cheer you on. And, um, and I, you know, we're not going to tolerate anything that is negative. So, uh, be free to be who you are, but yet let's, let's do this thing. Let's make this world a better place, you know, make your world a better place. Let's, let's get this out of the laziness. No excuses. I'm not about the excuses, you know, so we're going to dig deep and we're going to go in to these, this series of the bariatric journey. <clears throat> but remember, it's not an easy way out, but it's a worth, uh, worthwhile tool to use to be a better version of yourself. So enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. And I look forward to doing the next, next, um, next version of this podcast and next, next series, next chapter. All right. All right. All right. All right. You know, of course I'm not Matthew McConaughey, but all right. All right. So anyways, I love you all. Happy birthday. Happy anniversary. Happy new birthday to you. Let us know when you have your surgery. Let us do, you know, we want to, we want to see everything and, uh, let's just keep it real. And as always, don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified when new episodes are released. And if you like what you hear, we would love, 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 love for you to leave a review. Be blessed by the best and not stressed by the less.